Good morning, guys. We're just getting our stuff together here. Jeff's already ready for work. He's got the car warming up. He had to get all the snow off of it, and he's been pouring hot water on the windshield. So wipers are stuck, but I guess like well, the wiper, one of the wipers just fell off. Hey, if Daddy comes barging in, he's gonna hit you in, with the door. Come here, buddy. Be careful. Come here. You can wait for him in here. Just be careful. And so he's trying to get that put back on. And little sister here is just eating some breakfast. No, don't talk about you. And then I'm going to hurry up and get ready. But we actually have plans today. <laughs> so um, my friend that was supposed to come over yesterday was actually going to come over today. And then I ended up connecting with actually someone that she knows that I had met at the mom's group, which is where I met her when we first met here or when we first moved here and she invited all of us over for breakfast and go play at her house for a couple hours and so I gotta get the babes dressed actually out of pajamas and I gotta take a shower and get ready and then we are to be there at 9 she lives here in town like just five minutes away close to the Walmart here so we're gonna go over there and play for a little bit I had told her I was like you sure you don't want to go to my house I said I'd like to like socialize and get to know you and you know be able to talk and stuff rather than chase after my kids the whole time because if it's not baby proof that's what i'll be doing and she's like oh no my house is baby proof but i have learned <laughs> that everyone's opinion of what is baby proof is different and to me baby proof means that they can't get into stuff so we're gonna go Maybe over there will. And I told her, well, I guess they'll they'll let us know what is no. actually baby proof or not. So if it goes well, then we can go over there more often. And if not, then I will highly suggest to come to my house because Brown One had said that her house was baby proof and it was far from. And all I did was chase the kids around the house. So that is what we are up to today. Better go hop in the shower before Jeff has to go for work. Say good morning. Good morning. Oh, be nice. Good morning. Say hey, hi. Hey, thumbs up. We are just leaving. We had a really good time. It was nice. She's really nice. And we'll be hopefully getting together again. But it's already after 12, so I've got to get these guys fed. And I'll probably just put them down for a nap and then do a bath when they wake up. Or we'll do it tonight, I guess. Like how we used to. I'm not sure which. Probably after they wake up, I guess it'd be nice. But, oh my goodness, I was just putting them in the car, and I got Tristan in the car, and then I set Sydney, like, down by his seat, and she crawled across to, like, closer to her seat, and luckily she did, because I walked around the car to go to the other side to meet her to put her in her seat, and I totally biffed it on a piece of ice, and slammed my knee into the ground, and bashed my hand, and if she was in my arms, um, it could have been worse, or I could have hurt her. So I, that worked out because that never happens. I always like carry the kids. She just happened to curl across and I was like, okay, sure. So off to go home. My knee is freaking throbbing now. That did not feel good at all. I'm sure it's gonna leave a nice nasty bruise. Man, those babies were wiped out. They didn't really even eat much. They just snacked a little bit. And I just put them down. It's already almost one and they are tucked. It's weird not having a messy house since we were playing over at Brand's house. So there's like a few toys on the ground and that's it from like before we went because we left the house about 8.30. So I don't really have a lot of cleaning. I just made some more yogurt drops and the applesauce. I just cooked it low all night. So here's the applesauce and now I'm going to put them in my reusable pouches. The babies love everything in a pouch and so what the heck I bought these when they first started eating baby food and then I kind of took a break from using them and since everything is like better in pouches I put yogurt in pouches I put applesauce in pouches I think I can start putting some smoothies in pouches things like that and so um, this is just the baby's applesauce. I told Jeff it's not for you or you'll have it finished in like two sittings. So this will at least get them quite a few um, snacks or mm, like with meal treats. So I'm gonna put these in. These are pretty cool. I got them from New Zealand. They're called Kai Carrier. And no, I'm not sponsored. I just like them. And they were really reasonable. They are dishwasher safe and freezable. They wash so easy. I just throw it right on the top rack 
and it's like a little Ziploc. It's like a little Ziploc top that you close like that, and then the spout is off to the side. And they are flat when you're not using them, so they don't take up a lot of space. I don't know, I really like them, and the lady that sells them, it's her company obviously, she was really nice in working with me and doing fair shipping since it, like I said, was from New Zealand, but I am impressed with them because if you look at the reusable pouches that are available here in the U.S., there are not very many of them, and they're starting to be more, but they're like 4 to $8 for one pouch, and if I'm going to like make something and fill pouches, like I want to be able to have enough pouches to, like this. I made this, so I want enough pouches to be able to fill all the pouches with this. I don't want just one or two pouches. And then again, I have twins, so I think I ended up ordering, I want to say like 20, maybe 25 from her. So, they're pretty cool though, if you want to check them out. www.kicarrier.co.nz And there they are all filled up, made two, four, six pouches with using a bag, a three pound bag of apples. Daddy's home. We're headed to Target. Everyone's got their sun shades on. He's wearing sissies. Cause that's what I had in the car. Hi, right, cool people. Say hey. Hi. Let's go to Target. Like it. Like it. Like it. <laughs> well, Jeff was just taking out the garbage, and he found a package on the doorstep from Honest Company. And he's like, what did we get? And I said, I didn't order anything. But they sent us a package, like a thank you package. And it has a postcard in here that says, with delight from Santa Monica, California. And it says, hi, Heidi and Jeff. We wanted to send along a small care package as a way of saying thank you for being such a wonderful part of our Honest family. Enjoy and have a delightful day. Love your friends at Honest. The Carlton family and they sent us laundry packs 50 packs these things are like 12 bucks at the store hand soap which is like six bucks which I've been wanting to try another deodorant which cool I'll take it and another dish soap again can't have enough and another multi-service cleaner which is great because I have two of them one upstairs and one downstairs and one is empty almost so this is like Holy cow, this is one, two, three, four, five. This is an essential bundle that they sent us for free. So a $35.95 or $36.95 dollar deal that they gave to me for free. So thank you, Honest Company. Makes me like even more. I love free stuff. All right, guys, gonna call it a night. These late nights staying up till like two in the morning are getting to me. So I have bags. I'm tired. So good night and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Was that a thumbs up? Hmm. Thumbs up if you enjoyed thumbs the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe Become a subscriber. She's awesome. Our kids are cute. You'd really like it. Bye.